Good going, girls. Thank you, race fans. All right, pulling in down to between turns number three and four. Off that fourth corner they come. The green flag is out. It is Brad Haynes on the bottom part of Speedway taking up that early lead. Lasorda right there in the number two spot. Anthony taking a look on the inside. Anthony, what a good stretch drive. Going down that back straightaway. Going down into turn number three. Anthony on the bottom part of the Speedway. Anthony, what a good run coming out of turn number four. And it looks like we've got a new leader. It's Anthony Lasorda. Haynes and Dave Cliff is taking away the number three spot. Also making a move, Jesse Pear up in car number 37. Look at Russ Bartlett work up onto the outside as they go down the back straightaway. Dave Latulip in car number 27, he's shifting lanes as he comes off at turn number four. But the leader brings him down, Anthony Lasorda with an 18 -861. Sets the quick lap, opens up a five car advantage. Haynes and Cliff, they're dueling it out for the number two spot. Cliff taking a look on the inside. Cliff trying to come down onto the inside part of the speedway. Barrett remains back there fourth with Bartlett running fifth. They all go single file coming out of turn number four. Again, Anthony Lasorto turns a quick lap of an 18.793. Single file again down that back straightaway down into turn number three. Car coming up onto the outside. Russ Bartlett in car number 02. Bartlett trying to get a run. Now he looks down onto the inside. Can't do it. Anthony with four laps in goes a 19.009. That's his slowest lap. He could be in a little bit of trouble. Meanwhile, Dave Cliff moves down onto the inside, trying to pick off that number two spot. Anthony brings it down out of turn number four. We've got to check that time. He goes an 18.978. And we got yellow out on the speedway. We got some cars in trouble up there on the high side of turn number three. All right, they go double file down to between turns number three and four off that fourth corner outside lane. Appears to be the quicker Anthony Lasorto going up and around the outside, but he drops right back and then onto the inside. Look at Dave Cliff. Dave now shuffling around and Lasorto is back to the number two spot and wants to get back up to the number one spot. Haynes took that lead away. Bringing him down out of turn number four, coming down the front straightaway. It's Haynes, Lasorto, Barrup, and Latulip. Dave Cliff has dropped all the way back to fifth, so keep your eyes. And here comes Anthony. Boy, is he storming out of turn number two. Anthony gets a good run going down the back straightaway. Looking down on the inside. He can't do it. He can't keep it down low. They bring it down here in the front straightaway. It's Haynes, Lasorto, and Barrup. Top three cars all right together. Fourth is right there to David Latula. Three laps to go. A lap car coming up on your leader. Haynes so holds on to that number one spot, moving down the back straightaway. Jesse Barrup now back in the number three spot. Top three cars pulled away a little bit. They bring it down. The double sticks are up. Two laps to go as they charge coming down here in the front straightaway. I can just tell Anthony's going to give him a run coming out of turn number two. He looks down out on the inside. Barrup, though, right there in the number three spot. Barrup now looking down out on the inside of Anthony Lasorto. They race coming off of turn four. The, check, the white flag is out. One more time around, coming down into the corner. And the leader's touch going down into turn number one. Anthony backs out of it, going down into turn number one. Coming up on a slower car. They're coming off between turns number three and four. Coming off that fourth corner. Will Anthony give him a try? The checkered flag and the white flag is out. The checkered is out. And the win goes to Brad Haynes. Anthony Lasorto second. Barrett third. Latulip is fourth. Dave Cliff is fifth. Same tires all night. And our winner is out of the car. We're going to turn it down track side. Well, Brad, your first heat race win, your first feature win, and you, you, you hold off a hard charge in Anthony Lacerdo and the rest of the pack. You could have thrown a blanket over him. How good does it feel to be in victory lane at Oswego Speedway? Well, it feels really good. It's been a long time coming. I told the wife, I get the uh, first feature win. I'm going to retire, but we'll have to see what the rest of the year plays out. All I wanted to get was this one feature win. I got the heat win. I was pretty pumped about that. And I know Anthony was fast, and uh, I'm just glad to have everybody here tonight, my kids, my family. Uh, it means a lot to me, and uh, it's good to have all the 
quarter minute kids up here today, so it was nice. Why don't you, uh, why don't you give us a shout out to everybody that uh, gives you a hand with these things? Well, the list is long. There's been a lot of people over the years helped me continue to do this, <clears throat> and I appreciate everybody. I want to thank my mom and dad, my wife, my kids. I spent a lot of time away from them and with the race cars, so my hats off to my family. And I want to give this one right back to Ron Pratt Sr. He's passed away a few years or a few months ago. This one's for Sr. All right, well, Brad Haynes, your SPS champion for tonight, winner. Very emotional, We're big family. Talk. Brad has five Just kids, blue and uh, right there. very Look happy family button. tonight for these Push guys. Let's hear it again Don't for Brad it. Haynes. The Bird Motor Chevrolet Pace Truck pulls down out of harm's way. And the 350 Swamp Lock starting to get on those Chevrolet V8 power plants. Down they come, out of turn four, the green is out, and on the outside, Dalton Doyle. Dalton's going right to the number one spot, and Anthony Lasorto running up to second. Kingsley rides third. Look at Lasorto, man. He has got the hammer down. He looks right down on the inside of Doyle. Doyle, though, leads him going down in turn number three. Three cars racing at it. Coming out at turn number four. It is the Doyle up there on the front side. The Sheevan in the number 55 turns the quick lap with a 17 7 4 1. The Sheehan came from the number six spot all the way up to the number two spot. Meanwhile, Dalton Doyle, the Sheehan, Lasorto, and Dupree riding back there in the top four positions. And now a battle for the number one spot as Mike and car number 55 goes to the outside entering turn number three. He's trying to hold on to that position. And meanwhile, coming down out of the inside, Anthony Lasorto trying to get a run off. Dupree in car number 11, he uh, turns the quick lap with a 17.481. Dalton Doyle, though, holding on to that number one spot. Sheehan holding on to the number two spot in car number 55. They were coming off of turn four down the front straightaway. It is still Doyle going down into turn number one. And now Mike in the 55 car went up high and drives down low. He puts a wheel down on the inside. He almost comes up with the number one spot as he had a half a car in there entering turn number three. Bringing him down here in the front straightaway. Doyle goes a 17, 793 against a 692. And she is going back down onto the inside, trying to come down now, going to the outside. Will he be able to hook up on the outside, bringing it down here off of turn four and down the front straightaway? The Sheehan still putting the pressure on. Now coming up and around the outside, taking the long way around. We've got a new leader at the halfway point of the back straightaway. The Sheehan holding on to that number one spot in car number 55. Almost so, making a run up onto the outside is Dupree. Dupree in the number 11 moves up to second. Dalton Doyle back there to third. Anthony Lasorto, he is the trailer back there in the number four spot. And we got a car, it's Barry Kingsley. Kingsley into the wall real hard. He is okay. I can see him moving around in the cockpit of the car, but feels very disgusted as he is pounding the steering wheel. Keep your eyes on him on the bottom part. Dufree on the outside, car number 11. A little bit slower pace this time. Now they start to get into it. Now they start to pick it up. They race side by side. Good start coming off of turn four. And Dufree on the outside goes up to that number one spot. But Dufree coming on the outside. But then it is the Sheen coming down onto the outside part of the speedway. He's going to retake that lead going down the back straightaway. Bringing him down, coming out of turn number four. It's still Nachina, and now Dupree. Dupree up there on the top side, Nachina running in second. Dalton Doyle up to the number three spot and closing in quickly. Anthony Lasorto, he wants that spot. He wants the number three position. They race down in between turns number three and four. Anthony again tries it on the inside. Dupree turns the quick lap of the entire race with a 17-4-1-3. He opens up a seven car advantage down to three quarter point in the back straightaway. Dupree still up there in that number one spot. Nishin Golden right there in the number two spot. Doyle remaining back there third. Dupree turns another quick lap. He goes a 17 375, and we got a car coming up in smoke going down here in the front Mike. straightaway. It is Mike Bruce. Blown engine, I think, although it's possible it's. Uh, I don't see any fluid coming out.
it there's some flames coming out right here by the left rear yeah, header I see that. and flames. apparently oil coming down on the header pipe and going into flames and he points quickly he points click quickly as the safety crew comes right over there and the safety crew uh, extinguishes the flames. Natishin on the outside, on the outside lane. Here they come, Dufilly on the bottom, Latisha on the outside. Natisha on the outside trying to get that lead, can't happen. They move down off of turn number two and look who moves up into the number three spot. Anthony Lasorto in the big car number one. He is now up to the number three position. A good run for him going down that back straightaway. Anthony now runs third. 17700 for your leader on the get go lap as they race down the back straightaway. And Anthony seems to be very quick at the halfway point of the back straightaway as he tries to reel in the Tijan for the number two spot. But Dufri turns a 17350 on that last lap. Your second place running car is the fastest car on the speedway. As they race going down in between turns number three and four, white flag is out. Dufry brings him down into turn number one. A 17-472, almost identical times as they come racing out of turn number two, half a, rear, half a lap to go. Going down in between turns number three and four, Dufry is going to bring it out of turn number four and take the win. Nishina takes the number two spot, Anthony Lasorto third, Dalton Doyle. The top four finishing in that order. Dufali jumping out of the car here. Let's hear a big hand for the 350 winner tonight, Stephen Dufilly. We'll bring him over here in front of the Turning Stone Resort and Casino Victory Lane sign here. Get a little word with him. Over here, Stephen. Stephen, three in a row, brother. You, you're pretty much own this place in this 350 class. Well, yeah, no, it's been good. Um, the car was probably just as good tonight as it was the other night. Uh, we pretty much left it alone. We didn't want to fix it too much. And uh, usually when we do that, we slow it down. But uh, I can't thank my dad and my grandfather enough. They come out here with me today. Uh, we didn't have such a great night last night at Lee with his car. We got in a bit of a jam early in the race, and it's nice to be able to recap for him and bring home a win tonight. Uh, I got to thank my grandfather, my father, uh, Shea Concrete, um, my whole family for supporting me. Uh, my mother and my grandmother are watching it online. Um, Jason, Leo, Little Phil, Scotty, uh, Pogo, all those guys. They wouldn't be possible without them. It's definitely not a one-man show like it looks sometimes. You had the double file restarts there. Did you, did you see Mike Nettish in there banging? I mean, you guys were wheel to wheel there for a little while. Yeah, Mike's a really great racer. I knew he'd be top. And, uh, you know, I just tried to bide my time early on and make sure I had some tires under me because I had a feeling me and him would be racing for a while throughout the race. All right, Stephen Dufilly, three wins this year at Oswego Speedway in the 350 class. Let's hear another big hand for Stephen Dufilly, guys. 350 super modified winner tonight. Now the back straight in behind the Bird Motor Company Chevrolet Silverado. Lorraine Kisselstein brings it down low into the rear pit gate entrance. Bird Motor Company, Route 104, just east of the Oswego Speedway on City Line Road. Picking up the pace now, the rookies. Patrick and Proud in that front row. Coming down out of turn number four. They're getting on it. Green flag from starter Bertie Finnegan. And they go together down into turn number one. Patrick takes the lead. Proud drops in behind him. Look at Tim Snyder on the outside. Trying to make a run in that double zero with Eric Iosu on the inside. Michael Barnes in the pit area would have been starting up at the number five spot. But engine problems or some problems with the 68. He is out of the action now. Look at this. Camden Proud hanging on to second. Snyder on the outside. Look at that. Tyler Thompson running fourth now. Has picked up a couple of spots. Thompson started in the number six spot. Has already gained a couple of positions. Otto out of shape over between three and four. Drops back off the pace. Tyler Thompson, the race leader. Jack Patrick running second. Here comes Jeff Abel. Abel in the third spot. Closing quickly on runner up Patrick. Patrick, the race leader, as your leaders now coming into traffic. Tyler Thompson moving in behind the 56 of Latulip and the 99 of Curran. They're about to go a lap down. We are in lap number 17, 33 remaining. 
Tyler Thompson up behind the 56 of LaTulip as Jeff Abel has reeled in the 90 of Jack Patrick. Abel running 16, 58 in the last lap. Abel, or Patrick, a 16, 69. Here is your race leader. On the, working on the 56 of Hal LaTulip as Jack Patrick closing ground on him now. Patrick and Abel moving in behind the race leader, Tyler Thompson. Thompson, though, goes to the outside of Hal LaTulip. Finally puts him a lap down, coming out of turn number four. Tyler Thompson, the race leader, in the number 98. Here comes Jack Patrick. He goes around the outside of Hal LaTulip, and the yellow flag is out. We got a car up in the wall in turn three. It is Bellinger in the 02, Brandon Bellinger. Hamden Proud and Timmy Snyder filling out the top five. Looking for the restart down into turn number three to pick up the pace. Green flag is out. Looking on the outside goes Abel trying to make a run on the 90 of Jack Patrick. Patrick drifted out though and Abel had a back out at the last minute as Jeff tried to go to the outside. Patrick slid just a little bit, and that slowed Abel's charge down. Meanwhile, Dave Danzer looking on the inside, the uh, 95. Uh, Dave Schulich making it hard on the outside now, working on the 50 of Dave Gruel. Schulich in the number 95 has gotten by Gruel. Cars running side by side ahead of him as he is behind the 52 and 11 Danzer and Iosu. Otto Sindel is still way back in the rear of the field. He is running in the number 12 spot. As Tyler Thompson has the lead, and we got a spin. Now, oh, wow, what a nice move. I believe it was the 83 of Louis LeMay Jr. that spun down there, and somebody went around him on the outside. That was Logan Ravels that got by him, and Jerry, it looks like Jerry Kern sitting down there. Hey, guys, I'm down here with Brandon Bellinger. Brandon, a really hard hit there into the fence. Are you all right? Yeah, uh, I'm all right. I was pretty banged up, though. What, what, do you, what happened out there? Uh, I was just going to the outside and ended up catching the wheel and uh, pretty much went into the fence in the air. So it was, it was, it was a good hit. Smashed the car out pretty good. We'll see you back here next week. Yep. Uh, we got a lot of work to do. All right. Brandon Bellinger, he's all right, guys. The car's a lot, a lot to be desired right now. It's pretty banged up, but he'll be back here next week. And Thompson on it. Here comes Abel taking another run at the 90 of Jack Patrick, but can't get up there. So he sets right in behind as fourth running Tim Snyder. Trying to make a run at Abel, that didn't work. Meanwhile, we got a battle behind Camden Proud. Behind Proud is the 11 of the 52, Danzer and Iosu. Here's Danzer, shoots down to the inside. Takes that spot away from Camden Proud, coming off turn number three. As Tyler Thompson out in front, pulling away. Abel cannot get by Jack Patrick. Patrick in the number two spot. Abel running third, Snyder is fourth, but here comes Dave Danzer. Danzer in the top five, Camden Proud running in sixth. He is now followed by the uh, 95 of Dave Schulich. And the 11 of Eric Iosu, Schulich on the charge. Schulich in the number 95, working on the outside of Camden Proud. Here comes Danzer, down to the inside of Tim Snyder. And we had a yellow on the back straight. And it is the 11 of Iosu. Just snapped around all by himself. And he sits midway down the back straight, down towards turn number three. Nobody else involved. I don't think he did any damage to his car. Tyler Thompson, the race leader. Jack Patrick, the rookie, running second. Jeff Abel is third. Thompson getting on it. He's pulling away. Patrick didn't keep up. Here comes Abel on the outside of Patrick. Patrick did not keep up on the restart as the green comes down and off the front corner. Patrick hangs on to that number two spot. Abel tried to get him. Patrick hung way back on that restart. And Abel had to stay behind him. Then when he finally could make a run, Patrick had enough on it that he could hang on to that number two spot. Abel again looks to the outside. Can't make the charge. Tyler Thompson out in front. Patrick running second. Abel third. Here comes Schulich now. Schulich in that number 95. Has moved around Dave Danzer. And we got a car in the wall over in turn three. Camden Proud. Camden Proud stuffs it into the wall in turn three, into the foam. He drove straight. I don't, he must have, something have to happen for that car to go straight like that. I didn't see anybody around him, but he might have been touched. Oh, but boy, we've had a 
Oh, yeah. Sloat came uh, into the back end of Cameron Proud, Camden Proud, and it turned him towards the wall and sent her into the pits. Uh, she was starting to make a run down to the inside, and, and Camden was there. Base truck pulls away down low into the rear pit gate entrance. Patrick again lets Tyler Thompson get away. Here comes 05 Abold on the outside. Got a good run going this time, but he can't do it this time either. Check the green flag is out. And they are right side by side. Coming down to off turn number two. Abold on the outside. Patrick on the inside. Abold stays on the inside. Here comes Schulich as Abold finally gets around Patrick. Schulich moves up a notch as well. Takes over the number four spot. Jeff Abel now going to try to set sail after your race leader as he finally got around Jack Patrick on a restart. Here is Schulich now working on Patrick. Schulich the number 95 trying to get by the 90 of Jack Patrick. We are running here in lap number 25 when they come off the corner this time. The cross flags will be out, half down, half to go. Here comes Schulich. He's got Patrick on the outside. Schulich takes the third spot away. Schulich now running in third in the number 95. Cross flags are out. First ever feature win in any division. Tyler Thompson coming off the corner. White flag is out. There's the white. Thompson off the back straight. Schulich running second, April third, Patrick fourth, Snyder rounding out the top five. Dancer is sixth. Boy, what a night for Tyler. Picking up a all-time track record. Gets out of the car, <laughs> bangs on the hood. Nice job for Tyler. Ran, ran an unbelievable race. Uh, started back in sixth. Jason Simmons hugging each other. Michael Barnes over to shake his hand. Everybody wants to shake his hand. Here he is out of the car. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm another great hand for Tyler Thompson. Trackside with the race winner here is Doug Kells. Well, Tyler Thompson jumping out of the 98. <laughs> Congratulations, Tyler. Thank you. Well, we we uh we've been saying it's just a matter of time, and you'll be putting it in victory lane. This has got to be one hell of a night for you here. Man, I mean this hot car is just so good from the start, man, to the finish. I mean, <laughs> man, I'm just so happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, you, you set sail right from the go, and uh, you basically blew the doors off the roof here. You just, you were gone, buddy. Yes, and I have to thank all my sponsors and my crew for that. Thank you. Let's hear, name off some of these sponsors. Um, I have to thank um, Kelly Zenden, uh, Lindsay Aggregate uh, for the slight carts, um, Ashley Lynn Winery, and just everybody else that helps in the car. Thank you. Did you, did you feel like last time you were here, you ran it, you ran it, and then in the end, you kind of ran out of it, ran out of tires and stuff? Tonight, did you just you just knew you had it, you could you could floor it, and didn't ever look back? It got a little bit free at the end, but I mean, the car's working so good, that it just stuck. All right, well, Tyler, Tyler, I'm sure this guy, he's very emotional right now, guys. Uh, let's hear it for Tyler Thompson. He's going to draw our 50-50 here, guys. Young kid finally makes it to victory lane in Oswego Speedway. All right, the Bird Motor Chevrolet pace truck pulls in at the rear pit gate, and we're about set to go. We got Russ Bartlett up there with Josh Sokolik on the outside. Here is Josh on the outside with a good run coming out of turn four, a strong run coming down that front straightaway. Sokolik is the leader as they work coming down off of turn number two and down the back straightaway. Bartlett, Lasorto. Lasorto in a big number one car. He is all the way up to the number three spot and he is charging quickly. Sokolik though, he's gonna be leading them down out of turn number four and down the front straightaway. Sokolik going to 19.490 on the get go lap. Bartlett running second, Lasorto back there third. Dave Latulip, keep your eyes on him. Man, is he pedaling hard going down the back straightaway. That's car number 27. He's up to the number four spot. Another car coming on strong, Dave Cliff. Dave has moved up to the number five spot. He's 
back there in the number 50 car. Sekolik remaining back in the number two spot. White flag is in the air. Anthony Lasordo looks like he's going to be able to pick up another feature win here tonight. Sekolik with a solid second place finish. Your leader coming down to between turns number three and four. Bernie Finnegan putting a checkered flag out. It's Anthony Lasordo taking the win. Sekolik is going to be back there for the number two spot. Good run for Josh, Russ Bartlett, Dave Cliff, Dave Latulip, Jesse Barham, Brad Haynes, Cameron Rowe, and then it's going to be Tony Pisa in the number nine spot. You own you own victory lane lately here at Oswego Speedway, whether it's podiums, you know, on top of the podium, and uh, what it took you, one week off and then back to victory lane in the SBS. Yeah, we run three races and we got a first, second, and third, so we definitely can't complain. Uh, we were struggling with motor issues and the heat and the first feature, and we luckily scavenged a second out of it, but... Uh, I got to thank all these guys. They busted their tails on these race cars. And good run for Josh Sekolik. You know, it's a young kid. He's out here. They're all working hard, and he's he's getting better every week. He's going to win one of these before you guys know it. Well, give us a shout out again to all your sponsors. You can do it every time. Uh, my dad, Stu, uh, Sean, Zach, Mark Castilia, Cass, Jared, all my guys. I definitely, like I said, they thrash on these race cars. Um, all my sponsors, Woodchuck Saloon, JP Jewelers, Castilia Lawn Care, Cam's Pizzeria, Steve Joyce Farmers Insurance, uh, CH Sealants. We couldn't do it without you guys. All right. Well, Anthony Lacerdo, your victory lane guy tonight here, coming home once again.